what's up guys welcome back to the channel i got a treat for you got my hands on the leaked parking lot sale for harbor freight this is way way early so on this paper it says march 4th so that's monday through thursday march 7th that's going to be inside track club then everyone's going to be able to save on friday through sunday up to march 10th so super early on this one guys but i was able to get my hands on this leaked paper and I wanted to share it with you. So let's go ahead and check out what they're going to have. So first up, they got the Badlands 12,000 pound winch. 279 for that one was 349. Not a bad deal. Badlands makes a good winch. I actually own one of their winches and I'm really happy with it. Um, but this is a big boy, 12,000 pound. So this is going to be for your truck or SUV. I use a smaller version on my side by side. Really happy with it. Next to that, we got the Portland pressure washer. $69.99, not a bad deal. I've seen Greenworks at Lowe's, uh, comparable cl clearance out, um, but those are hit or miss depending on if you're going to find them at your Lowe's or not. So $69.99, not a bad deal. They got the Yukon 46 inch nine drawer cabinet with solid wood top, $289. That's pretty nice. You can get it available in four colors. $289, not a bad deal on that. We got the Daytona three ton low profile jack. 129 also in multiple different colors and then we got the three ton heavy duty ratcheting jack stands now this is a pretty good deal you usually catch this 27.99 only around the parking lot sales cheaper cheapest i've seen that on regular sales around 29.99 so if you're looking to pick these up definitely pick them up during the parking lot sale next to that we got the vani airless sprayer 199 for that and then next to that, we got the Predator 3500 watt generator, $649.99 for this. Definitely a nice pickup there. Something you definitely should consider, especially with all this terrible weather we've been having and all the power outages, this would be a nice backup generator for your house and at an affordable price. These are the super quiet ones, so they're not extremely loud. And 3500 watts is going to be pretty good for powering most of your house. All right, so next up, we got the Hercules half-inch ultra-torque impact wrench with friction ring. This is going to be the tool only coming in at $159. Not too bad. Then they got the 11 amp, 5-inch deep cut variable speed bandsaw, $109.99 for that one. Usually $179, so a nice pickup there. All the way to the right, we got the Franklin 17-foot. 300 pound capacity multi-task ladder. Now I actually own this one, used it numerous times for $89.99. You really can't beat that price. You go to shopping at Lowe's or Home Depot, something comparable to this Franklin, you're gonna spend way more than this $89.99 price tag. So definitely, if you're looking for a multi-task ladder, this is your chance to pick it up. Right below that, they got Buy one, get one going on. So this is buy one 8 amp hour battery, the Bauer battery, and the charger. This is going to come in at 130. You'll get one of the tools for free over here. And they do got a lot of tools to choose from. You know, they got the grease gun, the circular saw, impact. They got tons of stuff. They got outdoor equipment. You got your chainsaw, recip, your pole saw. Um, I would probably end up getting the grinder because um, that's something that I'm looking into right now. I want to pick up a grinder and that combined with the eight amp hour battery would be a good combination. So that would be my choice, but you got a lot to choose from from here, guys, depending on what you're looking for. All right. And at the bottom of the page, we got some pretty good deals. I always like to pick up these gloves from Harbor Freight. I think they got the best prices on these gloves. Five mil powder free gloves, hunter pack, $4.98 for those. Not bad. And those come in all different sizes, and it's a hunter pack. Got your ties. Those are always nice to have. Batteries. I have not tried the batteries. Probably pass on the batteries. You get your straps. Got the tarp. And then it's always nice to have these 4-inch magnetic parts holders for $0.98. Cents, under a dollar for that. Can't beat that. These have really come in handy for me when I'd be working on my car, taking something apart. All my nuts and bolts would be in one area. And I wouldn't have to worry about losing them. All right, guys, so next up is the next page here. We got the 72-inch U.S. General triple bank rolling cabinet here. 
coming in at thirteen forty nine. So thirteen fifty was a seventeen ninety nine. Now these are really really nice cabinets. I'm sure any of you guys that went to Harbor Freight before have messed with these while you're in the store. These are really nice. A little bit out of my price range. So depending on what your budget is, if you can afford it, definitely a good deal. But definitely out of my price range. Next to that, we've got the 34 inch service cart. This is for a 99, so hundred dollars off on this one. And as you guys see, they got these in a bunch of different colors here. I always like that charcoal gray, that deep gray color. It's kind of cool that they got all these different colors that you can choose from. Four and ninety nine for that one. Another well built service cart there. Next to that, we got the U.S. General three piece peg style socket trays. Fourteen ninety nine. Nice way to organize your sockets. Got the Maddox ball joint service kit. That one's coming in at sixty dollars. And then next to that, they get the Centec portable car battery jump starter power pack, and then it also has the one hundred and fifty psi air compressor. So this is kind of like an all-in-one emergency kit for your vehicle, $69.99. Now it's been at this price before, so definitely not any cheaper than it. We've seen it before, but still a good pickup if you're looking for one of these. Got the 20-ton floor shop press, $199. Right below that, we got the Quinn half-inch drive impact socket set, 61-piece, $149.99 for that one. All the way to the right. Got some Pittsburgh tool sets here. Um, a lot of people have different opinions about these tool sets. I definitely think they can be a good pickup for that budget mechanic, weekend mechanic, something like that. You don't have a lot of money to spend on some tools. I think that these would fit the bill. Got the 301 piece we've seen numerous times. They got the 225 piece. And then they got the 130 piece. And then right below that, you got the 7 piece ratcheting combination wrench set. $19.99 for that one. All the way to the left here, you see the liquidation sale up to 78% off. So this is going to be benefit those that actually get there first because it's first come first serve type basis to get the best deals. So up to 78% doesn't mean everything's 78%, but this is going to cover hundreds of discounted open box as is closeout, factory recondition, and scratch and dent items. So definitely a good way to pick up a really, really good deal. All right, so next, top left, we got some more Pittsburgh. We got the one and a half ton low profile aluminum racing floor jack rapid pump, $79.99 for this one. Nice pickup there. These are really nice light jacks to move around your shop or garage. Next to that, they got the three ton low profile floor jack, $99 for that one. And then they got the 300 pound capacity low profile creeper, only $19.99 for this one. I actually picked this one up at the last Harbor Freight sale. It was the parking lot sale and i've used it numerous times i don't really have any complaints i know it's kind of one of those things where i've seen mixed reviews but i'm pretty happy with it for the price comfortable seems to roll pretty nice i haven't had any wheels or casters break so at a price of 19.99 20 bucks i'm not going to complain right to the right of that we got the braun 5500 lumen four foot linkable shop light 1699 these are super nice because you can plug them into each other link up i think it's up to eight of them so you only got to really plug one of them in to a wall socket and then the rest plug into each other pretty nice way to light up your garage and then right below that they got the 500 lumen led slim bar work light 1499 now, i've got the original one of these still works to this day has a rechargeable i think it's an 18650 battery in there Really a nice work light. It's got the magnetic bottom. You can fold it in a bunch of different ways to get the right angle. It's got a bunch of different brightness modes. Really, really flexible work light. One of my go-tos when I'm working under the hood of my car. All the way to the left, you got the adjustable shop stool, $54.99. Next to that, you got the 1,500 pound capacity vehicle dollies. This is the two-piece. So of course, like me, you're gonna have to buy four I bought these for my old classic that I got in my garage and I move it around my garage. Makes it real easy. Make sure that your garage floor doesn't have pits in it. Make sure there's no rocks or anything in the way, no bolts or anything because that's gonna jam up these casters and it's gonna make it really hard for it to move. Next to that, we got the 100 PSI high volume air inflator, 24.99. 
Don't really have any opinion on that. Not sure how well that works. And then down at the bottom left here, we got the 200 lumen super bright flip light. These are nice, battery operated. Really easy way to put some light in a closet or somewhere that doesn't have electricity ran to it. Two bucks for that. 10 inch pneumatic tire, five bucks. You got the 18 inch magnetic tool holder, two bucks. Those hardwood dollies are really nice if you need to move some stuff around the shop. The funnel set's a nice pickup at under a dollar. You get four pieces there. These are made out of real thin plastic, so just be careful with them because they can crack pretty easily. And then they got the solid rubber wheel chalk. Under five bucks for that one. All right, on to page three. So we got some Portland outdoor power equipment. We got the six and a half amp electric pole saw, 50 bucks for that one, and the electric chainsaw for $38. I probably wouldn't be interested in these. I'd rather have something that's cordless. But if you're the type don't don't mind plugging in an extension cord to use this maybe once a year or something like that, definitely a good pickup because you're going to spend more on a cordless pole saw or even the chainsaw. Next to that, we got the Chicago Electric Welder and the Titanium Welder. If you got the extra money, definitely get the Titanium Welder for $130. A lot a better welder. Down to the bottom left, you got the Bauer brushless electric pressure washer 200 bucks for this one and then next to that you got the shelving by yukon five tier shelving not sure what the max weight is on this shelving but this one comes in at 45 bucks and then to the right of that you got the vulcan welder 949 for that big discount there you got some welding wire 1399 all right all the way to the left you got the predator Semi trash water pump coming in at 229. You got the 60 inch hardwood workbench, 139 for that one. One of my favorites, the Apache rifle case. Not much cheaper than we've seen it in the past. $99, about the same price. Definitely would like to pick one of these up if it can get below $99. Not sure if we'll ever see that. You got the ammo can, this is the metal one, $10.99 for that one. And then below that, we got some compressors. We got the 20 gallon McGraw. 199 and then we got the pancake compressor and the hot dog compressor 50 bucks for those all right so right in the middle there you got the 10 foot by 17 foot car canopy for 179 and then all the way to the left we got the greenwood contractor hose 30 bucks and then the 100 watt solar panel 90 dollars not too bad on the solar panel all right getting to the bottom of this page so we got the armstrong TV wall mount coming in at 30 bucks, not a bad deal. Kind of comparable to some Amazon wall mounts. Right in the middle, you got the central pneumatic hose reel, 60 bucks. Seen a lot of people comparing this to that Vivor brand, saying that the Vivor brand was better. Not really sure. And then they got the air compressor starter kit. Definitely hate those plastic coily hoses. Seem like they always leak, so not a fan of that. Got the Fortress 27 gallon compressor for 350. Really nice compressor there if you can afford it. And then all the way at the bottom, you got the socket drive set. Only two bucks for that. Like those. Always like the tarp selection that they got at Harbor Freight. 250 lumen pop up lantern. I own a bunch of these. Definitely a good pickup. Power goes out. Those come in real handy. Got your hammers, your tool bag, and then the 16 foot solar rope light. All right, guys, so this is the last page here, and they got a BOGO, but this one is for the Hercules line. So buy two batteries and a charger, so you get two of the 5 amp hour batteries, and a 4 amp charger, you get a free tool. Another really good selection of tools here for Hercules. This is going to be $145 bucks for everything, but you'll be able to pick up one of these free tools, and they actually got a really nice selection here. Once again, like I said earlier, I'm looking for a grinder. So that would probably be my pick for this. Um, get the two 5 amp hour batteries charger and then the grinder. 145, not a bad pickup there. Right below that we got the Hercules 12 inch compound miter saw. Nice price at $2.99. I think they got one of the best prices when it comes to a miter saw that has all the features that this one does. Next to that they got the Hercules one and one eighth inch breaker hammer coming in at $4.99 and then all the way to the right there they got the drain cleaner for $3.39 all right over to the top left there they got the brushless drill driver or the impact kit there 
by Hercules coming in at 88 bucks. You got the fixed base a router with the plunge base kit. That's going to be a 12 amp for $90. And then next to that, they got the smaller 12 volt 2 amp hour battery coming in at $20. All the way to the right, Chicago 10 inch sliding compound miter saw coming in at 109. Probably pass on that one. And then down to the bottom there, the bottom left, we got a little section there for more Bauer. You got the six gallon wet and dry vac, 50 bucks. Good deal on that. You got the Bauer five inch random orbit palm sander, only $20. You got the drywall sander for $100. And then you got the half inch high torque impact wrench, tool only for this one, but still only for 100 bucks. Pretty good deal on that. And then $48.99 your choice you get the quarter inch impact driver kit this is going to come with a one and a half amp hour battery and rapid charger or you can pick up the half inch drill driver kit for bauer like i said 49 bucks for that one and then to the right you got some warrior i've used those high speed steel step bits numerous times 10 bucks they work really well and i've also used the drill bit set only 10 bucks for that not the best quality, but they will get you through a few projects. All right, guys, at the bottom of the last page here, we got the folding hex key set coming at five bucks. I actually don't mind these. They do get loose every once in a while. All you got to do is just tighten them up and they work fine. Next to that, you got the American flag, five bucks for that. Got the stacking bins, got the high visibility socket adapters coming in at under three dollars. The folding lockback utility knife. For under four bucks and then the led flashlight definitely a pass for me on that one a lot of better high quality flashlights available for not much more than that one so i'd stay away from the 590 lumen tactical led flashlight all right guys so there you go the harbor freight parking lot sale that's going to be on monday march 4th super early ad leak for you guys hopefully this gives you time to be able to save up some money put some money to the side if there's some stuff that you might want to get from this parking lot sale. Usually they have the best deals during these parking lot sales. And they only have them a few times a year. So definitely take advantage of them. Hopefully you guys like the video. Got any comments? Put them down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys are going to pick anything up from this parking lot sale. If you guys like videos like these, smash that like button. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Till the next one, guys. I will talk to you later.